Hi guys, and welcome to this, my video on finding equations of straight lines. You're going to say, haven't you already done like 97 of these videos before? <laughs> yes, I don't know why. Just... Anyway, my name is Darren Mascuru, really good to see you. If you can do me the honour, please, of subscribing and adding my mother, then there will be two of you watching these videos. Yeah, I know. Clicking that button just helps me know that you're actually watching and means the world to me. Leave a comment partway through the video, and at the end of the video, let me know how I'm doing. Greatly appreciated. And head over to mathsguru.com where these videos are there with downloadable notes for your summary books and all those type of things. Again, what are we doing today? We are looking at taking all of the knowledge we've had from previous videos and putting it all together. So now, rather than drawing equations of straight lines, Let's see whether we can find equations without having to do all that sketching. I'm going to start simple and get a little bit more complicated. But if you understand the idea that we can write equations as y equals mx plus c or ax plus by equals c format. Now this there, I've dealt with in my previous video, gradient intercept form. Written because if we've got the gradient and the intercept, life is good. This format here, intercept form. Absolutely freakingly awesome if you just want to draw two points on my lines and join them together, right? If we can find the intercepts nice and easily, ka -ching, let's just do it. This video is pretty much going to look at y equals mx plus c, which is just an equation. It is so, so important, guys, for you to realize that is nothing more than an equation. If we put some numbers into it, other numbers get spit out. If you are good at algebra or if you're possibly good at algebra, then you're going to smash this. If not, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to do it. Your algebra skills will get better and better. All right. So first things first, let's do the easy stuff. Let's look at a graph. We know that equations are given as y equals mx plus c. The y is whatever is written on my y-axis, and the x is what's ever written on my x-axis. And here, I've written y and x. Okay. So I've got my y. I know what I'm going to write here. I've got my x. I know what I'm going to write there. I need to find my gradient. How do I find my gradient? How on earth do I find? Oh, I know. Yep. You choose two points on the line and draw a triangle between them. That's certainly one way. I'm going to come up with another way in a moment. And we find it. So let me see. How many units across have I gone? Well, I've gone from 0 or minus 2 to 0. So I've gone two units there. And how many units down have I gone? I've gone down four. And I'm writing the minus four because that gradient is sloping down. It's so important to make sure that gradient is negative. So my m there is equal to rise, which is minus four because it's going down, and two across, which gives me negative two. So there we go. I've got my m value. Do I know what my c value is? Well, it's where it crosses the y-axis into a vertical intercept, which is actually here which is 0, comma, minus 4. So having done, effectively, the work we've done in previous videos, I now say is, what's on my y-axis? It's a y. What's my gradient? It's negative 2. What's I written on my x-axis? It's an x. What's my intercept? Minus 4. Ka-ching, gradient of a straight line. I'm a boss. Uh, not really. Do another one, All right? Exactly the same idea. Equation of a straight line. y equals mx plus c. The reason we like doing graphs is because we can actually find our gradient quite easily. So here is one point here, and I'm going to choose another point there. I'm going to go across, and I'm going to go up. So how many units across have I gone? Three. Don't count squares. That's such a bad idea. How many units up have I gone? I've gone one. Again, because my, my graph is positive, it's a plus one. So my gradient is equal to rise over run. Doesn't matter, it's a fraction, we can deal with that. Fractions are here to trick you. But you know how to deal with fractions. Don't panic, don't panic, life is good. So let me see, do I know what's written on my y-axis? Yes, because I've just written a y. Do I know what's on my x-axis? Yes, I've just written an x. So I know my y, I know my x, I've just found my m. What is my intercept? There it is, it's where it crosses the y-axis, not the x-axis, the y-axis. So that is zero minus one. So let's do, my y-axis is y, my gradient is 1 on 3, my x-axis I've written an x, and my c is minus 1. Ka-ching! Bossed it again. Now, basically, they don't have to give you the graph. They can give you the information in a worded question. All you've got to do is read the worded information. But, what if they don't give you the intercept? 
So for example, if we look at this one here, I've got a gradient. My, uh, my thing says a straight line. So when it says that in the question, I can write down y equals mx plus c. So it's a straight line, has a gradient of one third. So I know I've got a y and I've got an x. We'll infer that from the question. What I mean is they haven't told me that it's anything other than y and x, so we're going to use y and x. I've got my gradient and it passes through the point 9 comma 2. Now lots of people here get tricked because they go, oh well the intercept's 2. No it isn't because remember for it to be an intercept that first number must be a 0. This isn't, it's a 9. Oh my goodness, how am I going to find my intercept? Well this is where the trick or in fact algebra comes in. If you remember with an equation, or sorry, with a coordinate, it's actually secret code because that 9 there stands for an x value and that 2 there stands for a y value. And our equation, y equals mx plus c, is just there to help you find equations. It's a relationship. So now let's go back. By giving me this coordinate, they've given me an x value. They've given me a y value and they've given me a gradient. What haven't they given me? The intercept. But with any equation, so long as they give me everything in that equation except for one letter, I can work it out. So I'm going to substitute. So I know the y value is 2 from, my, from here. So my y value is 2. My m is 1 third, told in the question times by my x value, which is 9. Now, sadly, lots of people tend to get these the wrong way around, right? When they put them into the equation, that's where most people make mistakes. And I'm going to put a plus c here. Mm, can I work this out? Well, I'm going to simplify this. One third times 9 is the same as one third of 9, and a third of 9 is the same as 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So 2 equals 3 plus c. Take away 3 from both sides. C becomes equal to negative 1, and believe it or not, ka I have found my important information. Now, weirdly, lots of people just leave that there and they go, yay, they have a party, they call friends, bit of Insta, no idea what that's all about, and they finish the question, but it's not finished. We need to then go back and write the finished equation of a straight line. And equations of a straight line always have a Y in it. They have my M, which is one third. They have the letter X in it and then we put the value of c. So my finished answer is actually y equals 1 third x minus 1. We did all of this here to help me find that value of minus 1 to finish my equation off. What about this one here? Can we do the same? Well, let's see. It's told me it's a straight line. So I can do y equals mx plus c. Let's see what they've given me in the question. They've given me a gradient. So I know my gradient is equal to 2 thirds. They've told me it's passed through minus 3 comma 4. Is that an intercept? Mm -mm 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 -mm. For it to be an intercept, this here would have to be a 0. I know! They haven't given me the intercept, but what they've given me is an x value and a y value. And when I've done that, I can put it into my equation. So my y value is equal to 4. My x value is negative 3 and I'm going to find out my c value. So we're doing this to help us find the c value so that later on I can write my equation as y equals 2 thirds of x and then some number. So we're almost there, we just got to find that c value. Now, if you don't know how to work out 2 thirds of minus 3, lots of people can do that in their head, then fire up your calculator. Let's just do that and then. So what I'm going to do is, con so if you've got your cas here, 2 divided by 3, so there's 2 thirds of is times, and then I'm going to put minus 3 in brackets. My advice to you is your calculator does not know that minus belongs to the 3 unless you put it in brackets. Please put it in brackets. Hit enter and out comes negative 2. All right, so there's minus 2. So I now know that becomes 4 equals minus 2 plus C. Add 2 to both sides gives me that C is equal to 6. And the whole point of doing this is so that we can therefore write plus 6 there and that is the equation of that straight line. Now, what if they don't give me a gradient? I'm having a bit of a breakdown, it's fine. But if they don't give me a gradient, it doesn't actually matter. In a previous video, we've looked at the idea that the gradient can also be worked out as y2 
minus y1. It is the change in y values divided by the change in x values. So if they give me two coordinates, 2, 6 and 4, 10, if I look at my gradient as my change in y values, well, it's gone from 6 to 10, so it's moved four places. And it's gone from 2 to 4, so it's changed two places horizontally, yes? So it's gone 4 up and 2 across. So my gradient there is equal to 2. Now, a word of warning, you will get tricked with minuses. Please, please, please be very, very aware that you have to do these in a particular order. So I've got my gradient of 2. I can write down y equals mx plus c. I've got my gradient of 2. Hold on a moment. They've not given me a coordinate. They've not given me one coordinate. They've given me two coordinates. <laughs> They've given you two coordinates. You can choose one of them like we've done in a previous example. And I always choose the ones with the smallest numbers because I don't like hard maths. So I've got my coordinate. There's my x value and there's my y value to help me find my c value. So x is equal to 2, so times by 2. My y value is equal to 6 plus c. So 6 is equal to 4 plus c. What do I do? Take away 4 from both sides to give me that c is equal to 2. So therefore, remember, my calculation is not finished because I've got to write my general formula. We've just used this information to help me find it, c. So my general equation must start with y equals. It must have the m value. It must have an x. And then I'm going to do plus 2 for my c value. Whew. Can I do more complicated questions with this? Yes, because math is a big fat trick. It's over and over again. So here, a line. Oh, I got a line. Y equals mx plus c. Whenever I see line, I'm going to write y equals mx plus c. Has a gradient of negative 2. So there we go, a gradient of negative 2. And a y-intercept of 5. A y-intercept of 5? Oh, that's OK. Then I've got y is equal to, because my y-intercept is 0, 0,5. That is my y-intercept. I'm going to write 2x plus 5. Ka-ching. I finished the question. Yay, you're happy done. Not happy dance. Why? Because it then says, find the x-axis intercept. You what? This is where all of this course starts to mesh together. To be able to find an x-intercept, you need to remember that, therefore, we let the y-value equal to zero. For x-intercepts, the y-value is zero. So I'm now going to take this and I'm going to do some algebra because I know the y-value is zero. I'm going to write that in to be minus 2x plus 5. And now I've got one unknown. I'm trying to find that value of x. The x-intercept is actually the value of x there. So I'm going to take away 5 from both sides. That's going to get rid of this to give me minus 5 equals minus 2x. I'm going to split up the minus 2 and the x to give me that x is equal to minus 5 divided by minus 2. Now, lots of people start to go into free fall panic and go, no, you swapped the sides. Yes, I could also have written that as minus 5 on minus 2 equals x, but I always like the letter to be at the front. These are exactly the same. Those two there are exactly the same, just written a different way around. Oh, a minus divided by a minus is a plus. So that gives me that x is equal to 5 on 2. And if you really have to, you can write 2.5. Is that the answer to my question? Ah, 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 ah. Because it wanted to find the x-axis intercept, which as far as I'm concerned, should be written as a coordinate. So in which case, it would be 2.5 comma 0. Now, believe it or not, that's about as hard as I think I can make this now. This is an introduction. That last question was a bit funky but it's linking all of the stuff together. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you can. Clan? Subscribe if you can. Let your mates know, your teachers, friends, TikTok. I'm on TikTok, at MouseGuru if you want. Otherwise, hopefully, I'll see you in another video. You take care, guys. See you again.